Welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're here to look at the Crow trailer because it has been disliked into oblivion. Now some people, not many of course, would say, oh has it been review bombed? No, I just think this is the sort of universe speaking out against making this film. And uh, as I like to do here on the weekends, a little bit more chilled, a little bit more relaxed videos. So I thought this would be worth a, a conversation, discussion, because... I do think if this trailer, the, the aesthetics of the trailer of, of, of you know, um, Skarsgård, Bill Skarsgård as Eric Draven is bad. If he had any other aesthetics and this wasn't called The Crow, this would have been passable as another film. But because it's got that awful aesthetics, this sort of weird emo crow, and then also the fact that it is The Crow... It's not possible. It, it has with it a lot of baggage. A lot of baggage from a significant fan base. So I thought this would be worth a conversation and a discussion um, to take a look at, basically. So here we have it. This is Lionsgate's 2.6 million views in three days. Not great. Um, but um, yeah, it's been disliked. Into Oblivion, as you can see, 79,000 dislikes with only, what is that, 57,000 likes. It's not great, is it? It is not great at all. So, I thought we would take a look, basically, take a look at some of the comments. Because I do, the, the Crow, for instance, it represents, if you're, if you're relatively young anyway, you, you won't really know this, I guess. And this isn't trying to be condescending. But as as society develops and moves on through the generations and years, things do get lost. Goth, to be a goth, was a really, like a really big thing. It was a really big movement. I say big movement. It, it, was, it was quite a thing. Um, not that everyone was one. But it was, it had its own special place in a certain generation. And the crow holds a special place to everyone that was essentially a goth. And nowadays, because we don't have that so much anymore, that sort of movement, that sort of... I don't even know what to call it. It's not ideology. It's just fashion and, I guess, people that encompass their entire personality around a, a sort of a fashion and music anyway. It's gone. And because the crow was that, people look at the crow with a certain reverence as well as the fact that it encapsulates, you know, a certain time in their lives, which is lost on a lot of younger generations. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's, it's been destroyed. So every 90s goth kid playing Burn by The Cure over and over tonight to try and brain bleach this trailer from our minds. <laughs> Oof. Even Watch... What is Watch Mojo doing commented on it? Getting super easy... Barely an inconvenience vibes. R.I.P. Brandon Lee. What the... Okay. Should just put the original movie in the cinemas again. That's true. I would be absolutely down for a rerun of The Crow in theatres. That'd be epic. If it weren't for the title, you'd think this is a live-action film from Cyberpunk 2077. That's true. That's true. All of the, all of the comments that are the most upvoted... Are bad comments basically bad that very negative comments and I think that's quite telling because there's only 22,000 uh, in the original Eric looks like he plays guitar for Nine Inch Nails in the reboot Eric looks like he raps on SoundCloud ah <laughs> uh, uh, that's funny <laughs> Brandon Lee never dies the crow somehow looks like he's trying to cosplay Darby Allen which is pretty ironic uh, here comes the meme of Michael from The Office yelling, No, God, no. <laughs> uh, so what made the original so appealing? It wasn't just Brandon Lee or the story, it was also the setting. Almost every shot is in this gothic dark world where every scene is either in a dark room or at night while it's raining. It had its own unique mood and vibe that complements this dark story about death and revenge. Again, that's true. This is important to know. It was, it was pretty bloody iconic. Uh, the only thing this trailer accomplished was making me want to watch the original. <laughs> I think had this been a separate entity, it would be very good. But the idea of remaking something so dear to our hearts is uncalled for. Brandon Lee will always be the crow. And th this kind of 
this is a very rudimentary explanation to what I put, basically. You know, if it was a separate thing, the aesthetics were slightly different as well, and it also wasn't the crow, I think it would have been good. Or at least passable, at the very least. I can't believe they thought this was a good idea. This is true. Dear, oh dear. Why does the crow look like Machine Gun Kelly dressed up like Florida Joker? <laughs> some of these comments are brilliant. Absolute great wit from some of these people. It can't rain all the time. You're right, Brandon. Just like every other The Crow movies, this one will come and go. Yours is immortalized. R.I.P. Brandon Lee. Yo, Crow, we need to talk. Florida Joker. <laughs> uh, I feel they should have left this one alone. Brandon Lee died making the original. Let that be his lasting memory in the world. There's one good thing about this trailer. It makes me appreciate the original movie even more than I did back then. Yeah, you can't beat... You can't, yeah, you can't really beat it. The Batman looked more like the crow than this movie does. He looks like the Joker from GTA 6. Uh, as as a someone from the 80s, I'm still going to watch it just to get the vibes from childhood. Even if I don't like it, I can always watch the original one. No lose situation here. Skarsgård isn't playing the crow. He's playing the Joker, playing the crow. That's true. And, I, you know, for what it's worth, I think Skarsgård will do... Uh, a pretty good job, actually. He's a good actor. I think he'll do a pretty good job. But he's doing a pretty good job in, well, essentially a bad movie, isn't he? Uh, well, boys, guess they save us a movie ticket. We just saw the whole movie in two minutes. Uh, apparently, so I I have sources that have seen this movie. I actually, um, I, I leaked this film and had, had, to have a, had to have a Zoom meeting with Lionsgate. That was uh, that's funny in, in and unto itself. Um... But this is, the majority of this is actually the third act. Some of it anyway. The majority of the stuff towards the sort of middle of the trailer, a lot of it's from the third act. Most of the violence is, is third act stuff anyway. Spoiler alert for a movie no one cares for. Uh, one of the favourite scenes is when the cop asks, you're going to vanish into thin air again and Eric answers, I thought I would just use your front door. The sadness in that scene was so apparent, R.I.P. Brandon, the Crow Lee. Were you supposed to be a clown or something? Sometimes. Ah, uh, there's no good comment. Best part of the trailer is when it finished. Don't you ever fucking die? Me asking Hollywood. Ah, yes, the Jared Leto Joker version of the Crow. Just what we all needed. There is literally no good comments. Look at it. I don't see anything positive. Wow. I, I do wonder if this will be seen as one of the biggest bombs in movie history. Or at least most disrespectful things in movie history anyway. Bad time. So I thought we'd do this I thought we'd do this video just because it's interesting. Again, seventy nine Where's that? Seventy nine thousand dislikes, fifty seven thousand likes. This is the uh, Firefox dislike plugin thing that you can see them all. So install that if you want to see it guys. But there you go. Pretty bad. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. What do you think to what I said at the start as well in terms of this film? If this didn't have the weird Joker aesthetics, if it didn't have that, and it was also something else, right? It was called something else. It was not, it wasn't The Crow. Do you think this would have been successful? Because I think this would have been much better received. I think it's a combination of things. The aesthetic, which is awful. FKA Twigs. Stop hiring Singers, please. They're shit. Understandably. It's not their forte. They're singers. They're not actors. Um, and then the fact that it is The Crow as well. So, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.